So on a number like number eight here, it's just I just want you to be able to factor. I don't care what method you use. I just want you to be able to factor. But on a question like this, the AC method means that you take the A value and the C value and you multiply them. So this doesn't, you don't have to use the AC method on this one. And I don't, you just, you just factor like you normally would without, I mean, what would you multiply 18 by to get 9? Plus 6 and plus 3. But if you're talking about the AC method, then that's whenever you have a number in front. So uh, number, number 11 would work. It might take you a while to guess and check those these answers. So what you do is you multiply the front and the back, the A and the C value. Mm -hmm. So you'd say 7 times 12, that'd be 70, 84? Negative 84, right? Is that right? 7 times 12? Mm -hmm. Number 11. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 I'm doing number, number 12. I'm sorry. I'm doing number 12. I thought I was doing number 11. We'll do both. We'll, we'll come back on number 11 here in a second. My bad. Uh, 7 times 12 is, is negative 84, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so I say x squared minus 25x minus 84. You don't fool with the b value. We're gonna, I'm going to call that b value because it's a, b, c. So I'm not going to fool with the b. The a's and c's are messed up. So now you factor this bad boy out. Sometimes this can be kind of a pain in, in and of itself. So factors of 84 that would subtract from each other to give you 25. Is 3 going to 84? Oh, well, there you go. 3 times 28. Because the difference between these is 25, isn't it? And I want a negative 25, so I put the, the 28 with the negative and the 3 with the positive. You remember what you do after this now? This is how I do it. And I don't know if, if many people do it this way, but I multiply by 12. Someone would divide these dudes by 12. And would, would either of these simplify? 3 twelfths would be 1 fourth. And 28 over 12. So that'd be seven thirds. So I'm gonna take that four and that three, and I'm gonna swing them up in front of this x. I'll swing the four up in front of the x. I'll swing the three up there. Four x plus one and three x minus seven. That's the AC method.